welcome back to the channel, y'all. In this episode, you guys are gonna see me cleaning the interior dash and door panels of my 2004 Beard Century using here the extra shine, Meguiar, Supreme Shine, High Gloss, and Protectant. It says here non greasy formula cleans, shines, and protects. Superior UV blocking for durable protection. All right, <clears throat> excuse me, guys. It has the Scotch Guard Protector 3M in here, as you can see. Uh, I think this stuff retail around seven or eight dollars, somewhere in the neighborhood is not that expensive. And this is a 16 ounce, okay, non greasy formula, clean, shines, and protects. Alright, and this is what you want to keep your dash from cracking and all that stuff, you know. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Using good quality stuff like this. Alright, we're going to be putting it on this dash in the stern wheel area of my 2004 Beard Century. Alright, so we're going to spread area and I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to work it in with a microfiber cloth. And then I'm going to just show you guys the difference for the parts I did and the parts I didn't, didn't do. Alright, so no further ado, man. Let's get it. Let's get into it. Shake it up a little bit. And let's hit it. We'll see what it'll do. That's what it look like in color. It's kind of like a thick, got a nice thick white substance. It's got a really nice smell to it. I like to let it work its magic into the dash and stuff like that. That's why I like to let it sit a second. Kind of work its magic going in there. And it's good. This is something that's, this products like this is something just good to keep into your um, trunk of your vehicle. You can pretty much wipe your dash and door panels down pretty much anywhere. Okay. And once it get all dry and brittle, it start to crack all up, and that's what you don't want. That's why you got to keep products like this in your arsenal, because of that. You don't want them to get brittle and crack all up. So keep it in your arsenal, man. It's cheap. Like I said, run you about seven or eight bucks, and that's to me that's pretty cheap. Well worth it than having a dashboard to crack all up and. Then you got to have that repaired because it looks so ugly. Alright. So let's go ahead and wipe this bad baby in. I like to let it sit a minute or two. Then I wipe it in. Just using a regular microfiber cloth here as you can see. And let's wipe this baby in. Bring you guys up a little higher. Right. You can see the parts I've done. The parts I haven't done already. Coming to the other side. Okay. And you can see the dirt on the rag. You can see a split difference from this side. I haven't touched to this side. We put nice lust and everything back into the dash. You could do the entire car with it. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. What I really like about this product is that it's not going to be a screen greasy when using this. It's not going to be greasy at all. You know, some products that you use, it'll be too greasy, like... You know, but this one here, it won't be extremely that greasy. So, uh, you know, you ain't got to worry about that problem. Okay, so let's hit the stern wheel area. All right. I don't actually believe this stuff really clean. You know, I believe it's just more like condition or nourishment or something like that. 
But it says it cleans. That's what it say anyway. It says it cleans. Gotta watch some of these products. It said cleans. Alright, it's a non-greasy formula. Cleans, shines, and protects. Which I don't really use. I don't depend on these as a cleaner. I would say use a diluted purple power um, or something. Diluted. Pretty good. I would use something like that as a cleaner first. Before I use this actually. Cause, but they, they states that it cleans. But I really, I really don't believe that this stuff really clean. I believe it does more of a conditioning job. Add nourishment and stuff back into your leather, vinyl, or interior, or whatever, you know. You know, that's just my take. I really don't believe these type of products clean nothing. Make it look good, yeah. But I just don't believe it clean anything. Alright. It adds shine and gloss, as you can see on the dash area around up in here. It does add shine and gloss to the dash and the door panels, kick panels, or whatever. But I, I just don't believe it's cleaning anything. Alright, let's shake it up a little bit more. Let's hit this door panel out here. I never believed in that. Just let that sit a second. Yeah, guys, I never believed that these type of products clean anything. But I do believe that they nourish, like leather, they nourish vinyl. Kind of put life back into them, you know, keep them from cracking. And the UV protect you from the sun. True, it does that. But I just, I never believe that these type of products clean anything, you know. Got to really convince me that they clean something. I just don't, I just don't believe they clean anything. <laughs> That's just my take on it, though, baby. Everybody, you know. Might think different, but I just don't believe they clean anything. All right, so that's all that door, as you can see, is penetrating in on the door now. So let's go ahead on in here and give it a quick wipe. All right, believe me, I don't, I don't believe it clean. Nourish though, it put the shine and the sheen back into your leather and vinyl and stuff. Make it look good, true that. But it don't clean nothing, though. Alright. It should say it's a clean first and then use this product. But it states that it does clean. So, but you gotta convince me different. I can see some dirt coming off though, but I don't believe it's really, you know, it ain't coming from this stuff too much. But it does look nice though, as you can see. That door looks nice. Put a nice sheen and everything added to your door panels and stuff. Put some nice shine. It's gonna be UV protecting and all that good stuff. But um, I don't actually believe this stuff actually clean anything. I just believe it protects. Cause you can see the shine and the sheen on that door panel. You know, that's just my take on it. But anyway, I don't want to hold you guys too long. I just want to share that with you. I'm cleaning the inside of my 2004 Beard Century. Uh, anyway, if you guys enjoy, don't forget to hit that comment, like, subscribe button. And um, till next time, y'all stay tuned for my next video. I'll hit y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace.